though. We didn't, we didn't, didn't get the white pieces, although I think we got two games in a row. So that's fair. I can't complain there. Ghetto Force, thanks for the, what is that? Six months with Prime? Ghetto Force. Once again, how often do I win this pawn? What's up, Meta Nick? Tuna Consuma. Thanks for the three months. I like that name too. Taking here is only going to serve to bring the knight there. So I'm going to play d6, knight d7, and stay, stay chill with my knight here. Today's elo to reach, maybe 1300. We'll see how, how things go. I'm playing five minute games, so they don't go too quick. It's a, it's a slow process, slow series in general. Okay, we'll sack a pawn here. It's technically not a sack because of that, but I might give up the pawn. Yeah, I thought it ship uh, ship it all balls. I thought the same thing. Tuna consuma. Trade bishops, maybe b4, knight b6. Knight b6 to d5. I like, I like. This move I do not like. <laughs> if I went here, I was a little worried about knight takes and queen c6. Check, queen d7. Oh, knight here is probably objectively a good move by uh, my buddy here. Okay, got to put our knight on this odd looking square. If we only get a check here, it'll be, it'll be winning. For now though, I think a5 is the energy. We got him. And this is going to be checkmate, by the way, if he allows it. Rook d1, almost certainly, though. Yeah, any check here is going to lead to mate. How can we get it? He's hanging his rook on the g1, but I don't really want it. I want the mate. I'm committed to the mate now. I am committed to the mate. <laughs> it's a funny way to try to get it. That's the target square, huh? Not so easy. Ah, yes. Rook f6, yes. <laughs> B4. 
You just got to force your way in sometimes. Helps to have a guy on the inside. And of course, we take with the queen. My guy could have played here, technically, but of course we take with the queen. Meet with the bishop. That makes up for last game, Kappa. No, we're going to need to get 1300 to make up for last game. GG. Let's get the white pieces. Oh, we got the same guy? Wait a minute, did I click? Hang on. I, did I click accept rematch? I did, right? I didn't just click like a random... It's because he rematched me. I saw a green button and I clicked because it was green. Yeah, okay. I, I always mean to get a new game. Something felt wrong there. I saw green and I was like, woo. No rematches. If I get the same guy, that's fine. But I'm going to keep it authentic. Keep the series authentic. New players every time. All right. So we got somebody playing the London without the bishop on f4. Let's play g5 for Salty Clown. Where is he going to put that knight? Okay. h5, just got to support this. He's definitely going to be looking to block things out. Make sure to get the rest of our pieces in the game. I mean, an attack is only going to be so successful. It definitely needs pieces. It needs ammunition. Okay, I don't know. Maybe he's going there. He's hanging this pawn. This is a crucial pawn to take. Because this bishop is going to be a monster now. Rook, uh, I think, wants to be in g8. Okay, save this guy. Tuck it away. It's going to do just as much attacking down here on b7 as it would from e4. So may as well have it on a safer, safer square. It's still operating on the same diagonal. I have no care in the world for my bishop to be attacking on the queen side here. Knight f5, we can just go back. Like, I can see him addicted to this move because it's playable. Um, once we get rook g8, though, then we can maybe think about some queen sacrifices here that look pretty tempting. Yeah, most likely the rook is going to be needed here. We'll see. Yeah, I figured he was interested in this. Some moves people want to play just because they're playable. Doesn't look that good. Knight here, we'll continue the onslaught with h4. Knight here, queen g6, and we're getting ready to operate on the light squares. So his little knight f5 operation has given me a lot of free tempi. Okay, I don't really get that. But a pawn is a pawn. Now, without this guy here, knight e5 starts to uh, look tempting. Okay, free knight. This bishop's also loose now. Knight e5 and knight f3 check. Uh, looks... Menacing, yeah, knight, knight e5 here is definitely the right idea. I'm not too worried about winning this piece or not. I'm looking for mate. Hello, Orangey TV. Okay, he's done this, which means knight on e2 is mate. Can we get a knight on e2? 
that that is the important question. That's a tough place to get at night right now. Very tough. Let's start with this. Bishop moves somewhere. We got bishop h6 coming next. Um, very likely trapping this queen. Rook f5 also does the trick. I don't think I'm getting my knight down there, sadly. Both of these moves look good, though. Or actually, sorry, this drops the bishop. Stick with my guns here. Bishop takes. Takes, takes. And then maybe set up some queen sack and mate down the G file. The funny thing is after taking, I can just take back with the pawn and his queen is still trapped. He doesn't even get to collect two pieces for it. Well... this bishop in here yeah this knight on e2 thing is just simply the hardest square on the board to get to it looks like literally if the f pawn moves then i might drop back bishop e3 and uh, try to set up a mate there Check. Yeah, that's probably enough for him. That, that knight is going to go to some pretty nasty places. Yes, okay. So we'll, we'll keep going after this. But this one is for a 1250 here. We're playing a 1250, so he's the gatekeeper. Oh, gosh darn it, you. Don't really want to castle and allow that check. It's a particularly odd move. I know this guy's hanging, but I don't think I can take it very easily. Wow. Really? This is a weird tactic I might be threatening. I think he's going to go here. We'll happily go to e7.
Hmm. Back to F5. Maybe this, but also just H4, H3. He's trying to go here. I get it. I get it. If we go here, G3 is forced. H4. Hmm, I think we go for it. It ain't the best move, but it's a move. That's what I dream of here. Wow, this guy's uh, very confident taking my pawns over here. That's uh, that's impressive confidence, I have to say. Here, queen e3, but here, oh, okay, maybe queen d4 or rook d4. The way he's taking pawns is very impressive, I have to say. I don't think I could do these moves. This guy and Yasser are in a class of their own. Um, I think I might need to just play H3 to play H3 here. There's some, uh, there's some impressive speed coming from this guy. I think we are not necessarily a favorite to get, um, okay, C5, eh? That's a big time move. What if I take? Am I getting... Crushed here? I think I have to take this. What's happening to me here? Okay. Okay. <laughs> Let's trade the queens, please. I don't like being in a middle game with this guy. Well, let's get these queens off the board. End games are always tough to play. Okay, hang on a sec. Queen c6, maybe. Force. I'm playing like a variant of Salty. Queens need to be off at all. <laughs> at all means necessary. So queen b4, we can go here because that's a meaningful enough threat that I think he needs to take this. F4, eh? So if I go here, rook a1, and he just chugs this along. So I think we got to go here. And then put the rook on a3 to like cut things off. But we definitely have the, the best chance against this guy in the end game, probably.
We're going to sprint over to that side. It's a long way for him to get there. Plus, I still have all these pawn moves that he has to make. Question marks? This is a very deep end game. This is some uh, impressive stuff here. But luckily, we're low on time. This should help. I he's going to play king e3. Are we going to have enough moves here? It's going to be very close. I think we will. He went this way instead of that way. I realized that at the last second, which is great. <laughs> It's very helpful. But I think we would have had enough, would we? I think, uh, by my calculation, it was just enough. 0 0.8, 0 0.7, 0 0.6, 0 0.5, 0 0.4, 0.3, yeah. I'm not sure we'll make it all the way to, uh, to 1300 here, but let's get another game. All right, B6. This is all theory, by the way. All three, by the way.
Okay, that was fun. <laughs> that was uh, that was uh, sure interesting. <laughs> Woo! She was over before she started. Okay. The next game could be very important. The white pieces, the London system, under 28 and a half moves. Let's go with the black pieces. <laughs> I think I'd love to check the stats on this account, but I swear I've had like 75% games with black. <laughs> I just have. It's a curse. This pawn, uh, if he plays rook d1, I'll take it, but okay, I guess if he forces me to take it, I'll take it. Put it that way. Aurman local hero. It's weird. I thought I just called out this reset like a couple days ago. Big Armin, appreciate you, man. 35 months of prime. He's resubbing for 35 months again. 52 white, 55 black. Yeah, but there's a lot of games, uh, Joe Legend, that I had to play on this account before. I did my speedrun. So you'd have to filter out all those games. It was like, I don't know, it was like the first 44 games were done to raise the rating and then we reset it to 800. So to really get the count, you'd have to take those out. I know it's heavily in Black's favor. You'll throw it in the calculator? My man. We're going next. We're going next. Okay. Hitting this pawn here. Ah, no, we're not going to play this, right? Because we know, we know that somehow this is going to happen. The stars will align. The stars will align for this move. If we stop him from going there, surely. Bishop here. We have to quickly play d5. It'll work here as well. Bishop here, move the knight, and then go d5. We have to stay faithful to this faded move. Oh, okay. Nope, doesn't look likely. <laughs> Might have to, might have to pack up that idea and go e5 here. Um, rook f7 though is like a very normal move. I think I might do that one to start. Knight c6. Rook 
Queen h4, it's always decent. Knight g4 and maybe knight takes h2. Any tricks for me here? I'm not seeing any other than winning a pawn. A pawn is not that impressive. Let's keep the king from castling and you know maintain some tension, you know, some threats here. c5, d4. Question is, if he takes there, do I have anything? Answer is no. <laughs> now that the rook's on d1, this looks a little bit better than last move. D4 looks like a pretty good next move. Something looks uncomfortable about, the, uncomfortable about the king here. Queen g1 is the only move to really like protect the, the rook that makes sense. Queen f1 and then queen e6 so might work. Bishop takes h1 and we should be getting mate. Probably on f3, king here. King g3, rook f3, and where's the mate? Here. Or queen h3. Yeah. Do we get the plus 8 here? No, we only get plus 7. Only plus 7? Come on, chess.com. Maybe they want me to hit 1300 with the London system. That's the only way this is tolerable. I get it. Appreciate it, chess.com. Oh, appreciate that, bud. Oh, yep. Don't mind if I do. Yep, appreciate that. Cheers. Yep. Sure, yep, don't mind, yep, sure, yep. Takes, uh, available. This one also kind of looks good. I'm going to take this one. Tempting, but I have rook b1, bishop there. Eh. We'll leave it for now. Um... looking move it looks great but it loses <laughs> looks great overall you know all things uh, all systems go but it, it loses hmm really want to put this bishop here Wow, I definitely didn't see this was attacked, by the way. <laughs> I'll, be, I'll be honest with you. But I'm, I'm in a time crunch because uh, <laughs> I'm trying to play a little bit quickly. I need to go, but I, I just, my body can't leave before we hit 1300. 
but I, I also need to go. So we're going to do both. Rook d1, please. Yep. Rook takes. Nope. Okay. We're going to manage. We're going to make it work. Let's take that. Yeah, there's no chance we're leaving. Not without what we came here for. Knight here and rook there, mate. The thing is, if he stops the mate with a knight, then there's also f2 mate, so... Alright. <laughs>